Hey everyone, welcome back to another custom scenario. This time we'll be playing Moses, Prince of Egypt. This is the story of Moses, how he was rescued by an Egyptian princess, how he killed an abusive slave master, how he went to the land of the Midianites and spoke to God through a burning bush, and how he returned to Egypt with his brother Aaron and freed his people from bondage. Retrace the steps of Moses, man, lawgiver, and prophet, and live the story that would become a legend. So I'll put the download link on the screen and in the description, like always, if you want to download this yourself and also play along. So it looks like this story is split into three parts. So I think we'll just read them as we get to them. But okay. This is the story of Moses and his time in Egypt and among the Midianites. This is a three-part story. It is recommended to refer to the scenario instruction screen as you complete each part of the story. During all chapters, Moses, hero Zhu Fu, must not die. So I guess we'll read this. No, we'll read the hints in the history, and then we'll read the first one, then we'll go. Uh, the Hebrew Bible tells the story of Moses, how he was rescued as a baby by an Egyptian princess, how he became aware of his Hebrew descent and killed an abusive slave master, how he went to the land of the Medianites and spoke to God through a burning bush, and how he returned to Egypt with his brother Aaron and led his people from bondage across the Red Sea to the Promised Land. All right, so I know that story because I watched the uh, the Rugrats Passover special when I was a child. Right. Although scholars debate the historical veracity of this account, the story of Moses has rippled through history. Whether historical or legendary, Moses is revered today as a lawgiver and prophet to Jews, Christians, and Muslims alike. Okay, so our hints, let's see, we have a lot of hints. We'll need to convince the Egyptian princess to adopt Moses. Perhaps someone along the river can help. Oh, I bet we're going to find a priest. Uh, after Moses kills the slave master, he will need to fight his way out of the city. In case he is wounded, he may find help somewhere in the city. Once Moses reaches the Medianites, he will be able to raise an army, but note that his population limit is a very biblical number, 40. Save your gold for when you have brought Moses to the burning bush and the temple. The upgrades there will give your priests significant advantages. And be careful when converting the magician's pharaohs. Killing one accidentally will result in defeat. Okay, so I think the pharaohs just like super powerful priests with lots of HP that were used in one of the other scenarios. But Okay, so first is the baby among the reeds. For decades, the Hebrew slaves toiled in service to the pharaoh, until the Egyptian king, fearing that the Hebrew multitude could rebel, ordered that all sons of slaves be thrown into the Nile. The Hebrew woman could not bear to follow the pharaoh's decree, and placed her son in a raft of reeds. She prayed that the Lord God would protect her child as it sailed down the river, where an Egyptian princess bathed. Objectives. Bring the raft-bearing baby Moses to the Egyptian princess villager. Find a way to convince her to take Moses as her son. Moses' mother may be helpful. Have the Egyptian princess bring Moses to the temple. Wait, princess, so are we going to get like a female villager? That would be awesome. Uh, so once again, hardest. Go. Okay, so we're a raft... Oh, we've, we've reskinned a transport ship to look like a fishing boat and called it a raft. This raft carries one occupant. Well, zero out of one. Okay, so there's some crocodiles nearby. And can we gather fish? No, we can't. It cost 40 wood. Blind, lame priest. Oh, we can put the blind, lame priest into the raft. There we go. And now we'll have to go down the river and find a female villager. Could be down here. Pharaoh, Magi, all right. What is this? Villager. You're not, you don't look like a princess, but that's okay. I just let you out. Oh, maybe you're Moses, and we just gotta convert you. 
Allemaal. I guess we can't really bring the priest with us. Okay, well, let's read the next story then. Oh, okay, this one looks... This is a nice menu with a blue background. I don't think I've ever actually looked at this. I probably have. Uh, Moses in the Wilderness. This chapter begins when you take control... Oh, actually, I haven't found Moses yet. He's Zufu, not um, whoever that villager is. Bring Moses to the temple. All right. I'm a bit confused right now. Are the are the Egyptians my allies? Oh wait, why is why is there a composite bomb in there? What, what is this? Are you killing it? Wait, what, what is going on? Um. Wait, capture. Oh, this is the. That's Hero Tsufu. Okay, I just lost all your HP. Can I. I want to check the diplomacy, but I check the objectives. Egyptians are my ally. Egyptian army is my enemy. All right. Uh, okay, oh, Moses in the wilderness. This chapter begins when you take control of Moses, Zufu. All right. Oh, there we go. Have the Egyptian princess bring Moses to the temple. We went to the temple and we took control of Moses now, who is, he grew up from a baby to being, to being an adult composite bowman. Many years passed as Moses lived among the Pharaoh's grandchildren, but he could feel that he was different. One day, Moses witnessed an Egyptian slave master beating a Hebrew slave. Moses struck the Egyptian and killed him. With Pharaoh's guards approaching, Moses had to flee Egypt. Objectives, escape Egypt and reach the land of the Midianites, fight the, uh, oh, how do I say this, Amalekites to bring Moses to the burning bush. All right, and then the next chapter will be when I reach, when I reach the burning bush and temple. Right. Uh, so this guy, I can probably just pick him off. Misclick there. Uh, how do I get out of here? Alright, so now that I've lost all of my, all my hit points, uh, I did not want to attract both of them. Let's just run past. Nope. Alright. And there we are. Don't lose all the hit points. Let's be more judicious about aggroing people. That was a lot of damage. Oh, there's a priest I can kill. Take the hill, and then we'll go heal by this priest, another blind land priest. Up, up, heal, don't shoot. Oh, don't kill the... Oh. Don't kill the priest. Okay, that was not good. <laughs> okay, so things are not going well this time. Let's see if we can take just you. Okay. okay. So things not going too well with regards to hit points right now. But we're almost out of this encampment here. Let's see if we can just get that guy. Hit him as he goes. Oh, don't. Why are all of them coming? Can run them around the circle, though. Guys, can nope. Misclick. Right, 
This time, we're not going to lose to that priest needlessly. Okay, run. Only take one hit this time. Nice. Okay, stop micro isn't gonna work that well. Take the hill. Right. Now let's go to this side first so we don't actually get those guys near the priest. Take the hill. Okay, that was much better. And now we'll see. There we go, now we can heal. Perfect. And the priest is now alive. Okay, now these guys, we don't need to micro too much anymore. We know that we're just gonna make it. Probably kill the speedy guy first. And I should probably also not drag them towards the priest. Oh, I saw I saw you going for the priest there. I like these blind these blind lame priests. They're a nice little mechanic here just to give you some health checkpoints. It's of course how the first Yamato campaign mission had been done back in the Yamato campaigns for age one. Had the nice composite bowman hero go about killing some lions, then try to assassinate some tribal chieftain. Okay, so I think we're past this part now. Let's just save that real quick. Okay, need a bit more HP. Let's go back and heal. And now let's continue forward. Okay, so we have oh more Egyptians. So green and red both are the Egyptians. Go through these nice little bridge. Explore the cliffs. I always like to explore every single little spot. So we'll take the hill and use the hill to kill the lion. Oh, don't don't auto fire just because you see people. Okay, now what's back here? Houses. Yeah, a little overlook. Okay, don't know if we can use this. But we can shoot that guy, maybe? No? Shoot the house, but not him. Okay. So we're going to need to use these hills to get past these bowmen here. Alright, All right. we're far enough away from that priest, we don't need to heal. I don't want to go back. The trick is to get the lions to run straight at you so you can hit them with the arrow and it doesn't miss. That guy's on a hill, which we don't like. We want to be on the hill. Uh, try to run diagonally backwards a bit. I think that went pretty well. Let's see what do we have up here. My house is on a cliff with some guys on the cliff. So we'll have to fight them soon. Hopefully we can find a priest soon. I don't want to have to walk all the way back just to heal. Right, let's see what's down here. Explore the other side of that river we had. Uh, or no, it's a different river. Alright. Just hit them with two arrows. I probably should click them and make sure they're not a Lion King before I shoot them. See if there's any secrets hidden down here. 
I don't even know if you could give, or like what type of secret you could give there, but it'd be nice. Uh, oh, these, these are the guys I have to find, right? The Medianites. Capture town center technology monotheism. <laughs> I have to research monotheism. That's great. Oh, good. Go. Run. Probably should be training villagers right now. Okay. Uh, but I don't want them to. I need houses. Okay. Problem is going to be these slingers that counter archers. I don't have much range though. Okay, we've kind of it's kind of safe now. And just do a little bit of exploring. Hopefully, we don't aggro more brown units. Okay, so that's our that's our first lesson. Don't go up there. I don't need you to make another house. Get a tiny bit of a wall going. I guess you can start pushing Gazelle after we've done a bit of exploring. Any more guys over there? So is this the burning bush I was supposed to reach? Because there are berries there. Uh, let's, let's use instructions again. Fight the Amalekites to bring Moses to the burning bush. In the last chapter will be Return to Egypt. Uh, begins when Moses reaches the burning bush and the temple. Okay, haven't reached the temple yet, so we're not there. Not there. Oh, we're already in the Bronze Age. Right? That means I can make more town centers. I just need a... Oh, I can't build a government center, so I can't make more town centers. And I'm, I'm the Egyptian, so that means I guess I can make some chariot archers. Can I... I can't age up. And I should control group you so you're group one. Hunt that gazelle. Ooh, is there like a little passage up here that leads somewhere? Uh, no? Yes? Maybe? Okay, either way we need to deal with those swordsmen. Let's hope this was not a bad decision. Oh, I'm so fast. Especially on those hills. I think these guys might just be slightly faster, though. Alright, still alive. Alive is good. Wall up a bit more. See if we can push in these gazelle. So nice of them to give us some fish. Oh, two at the same time, yes. Let's just take them before they decay. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to hope that Brown doesn't attack me. I'm going to send him back here so that he can heal. Oh, I can go to the uh, uh, Iron Age. Nice. I'll just build up while he goes back. Oh, that, no, no. I should not have just right clicked there. <laughs> okay, so we are almost back to the town center this time. And this time, we're going to be smarter so we don't automatically lose our hero when we try to walk back to heal him. Let's take that guy out. Check out the guys near him this time first. Okay, that is better. So let's go down here now. And... Okay, it probably was better when they had aggroed the TC first. Guys, it's so hard to click. Oh, the Axeman actually faster than I am. Rip. 
Okay, so approaching the town center from below, so they attack the town center, probably is the better idea in this here situation. You guys just run. Oh, yes, good job getting stuck on the house. Kill you before you get here. Use the range better. Got you. Right, you guys just go start hunting, I guess. Run you around the building. Well, I, I found the burning town center. That's almost like a burning. Why did you split between the gazelles? I say it's almost like a burning bush, but I guess not quite. All right, so the slingers—they only have four range, so I can really just take them out. All right, there we go. Oh, we need houses. Okay, is there anything over here for us to kill? There's one swordsman there. Alright, now we'll just start booming again. Man, the hitbox is on these units. Uh, not as big as I'm used to in H2. Okay, you. Oh, you can build me houses down here. And can I just delete you guys free pop space? I hope so. Uh, yes, you can be my house building villager. Let's just start chopping stuff. And now, now I will send you back to heal. Can I fit another house somewhere? What if I chop you? Then can I fit the house there? No, I have to finish it completely. Okay, so one more house, then we'll just delete you. And I'm going to be limited to 40 population. So that could become a bit problematic. Just hunt the gazelle out here. I don't feel like pushing them in. Logan? And goodbye. Yay, healing. There we go. Okay, nice. We'll get up a greenery there. Leave a space, I guess. A storage pit down there to hunt the rest of those gazelle. And we'll get a storage pit over on the gold. Hopefully I killed all the guys that were there. Uh, you can push the gazelle towards the storage pit for me, and now the rest of the guys hunt them. Here we go. And let's keep the villages queued up. Keep taking the fish. A market for some upgrades would probably be nice. Now we get this guy back, and we'll just keep exploring a bit with him. Of course I don't notice the lion, lose a tiny bit of HP, oh well. And we'll, ex we'll explore this side, looked like there were, there were some guys over there earlier, so we'll see what's over here. Uh, idle villager. Go on to wood. Keep queuing the villagers. Uh, hot key you. Thank you. Alright, there's some bowmen there. Ooh, they do see me. Let's get them down off the hill. 
Oh, are those like stronger bowmen? Okay. Now that we're down to 4 HP, I think we need to go do some more healing. Well, while we're healing, we can just build up more with the villagers. Almost at 40, and I think we will want to get to 40, then advance to the next stage. That sounds like a plan to me. Still need two more houses, though. And one more. I have some idols. Let's get all the wood from down there. And what are you doing over there? Let's go on that fish, please. Thank you. And there we go. That will be all of the population we'll be able to support. Should work out nicely for us. And market time. Get some eco upgrades. And as the Egyptians, I think maybe going for elephants could be a good uh, uh, a good play. Some elephant archers. No point in exploring with this guy if he's just going to be killed. I guess we do wheel wood cutting and then farms. Do I need to unlock the government center with another building that I don't have? It is unlocked from... Oh, it's unlocked from the market. Now can I build? Uh, no, still can't build a government center. Yeah, that would have been unlocked since it's a total age prerequisite anyway. Oh, well, just do four more villagers or so and then go up. Okay, and we'll get ready to go up once... Oh, we can do one more villager, then we'll go up. Be extra efficient. Do some woodcutting upgrades. I'll just make things take longer, but oh well. Oh, and there's more, more gold I can get over there. Now we are pop. Now we've hit our pop. And while we wait for that food to come in... Okay, there we are. Two Bronze Age buildings. Can I build a temple? That's yeah, not a temple. No, I can't build a temple either. Those are our only two possible Bronze Age buildings as we are running out of wood and stuff. It's almost done. And there we are. Now we're up. And we'll make a couple of archer ranges for elephant archers. And it says the Egyptians will have extra hit points on them, so we'll do some of that. Can't do the upgrades. We can do that upgrade at least. And there'll be lots of units up there, so we will need actually some army to deal with them. Up. And they're actually are attacking us. Let's just try to lure them away from the gold mine. Uh, okay, you guys can just come down here, because we are very soon actually to run out of resources, okay, okay. Actually, aren't that many resources. Maybe I could ally green and then 
Kill buildings, get more wood. To, ah, that's too much work, that's too much work. Uh, okay, so we do the archer armor, we'll do the next one once we get up too. Now that they're all idle, I guess I could just fight with them, maybe. It's not like they're gonna do much good anyway. Should probably make a few farms. Oh, yeah, let's just go fight with the villagers. Maybe make a storage pit over here to do what to collect what little wood there is there. Okay, do the that and some elephant archers, of which I will definitely need food for elephant archers. And also for the craftsmanship upgrade for them. But yeah, let's just fight with villagers because I probably could actually have done something with them, but uh, we can just fight with them instead. It's better than deleting them, right? This guy does need to be healed. <laughs> just use this one little elephant archer to do our fighting. Now, hopefully, we don't run into priests. Oh, they have the same range, wonderful. You can send the elephant back to the blind lame priest to heal, too. Uh, so we're completely out of wood down there. Come up here, take some wood, I guess. Look at that. Gives the hero range, too, but it didn't look like the first one gave him any range. I guess that just means the elephant will get more range eventually. Elephant, hopefully you can do all the tanking for us. Don't go for the hero, please. Keep him alive. Yes, sorry. Good. Okay, you definitely get back now. Oh, that guy dodging all the arrows. Okay, hero needs to go back and heal again. But other than that, need more farms for elephant archers. These things. What's the Egyptian bonus for elephants? As I know, I have one. It is. Uh, I don't have one actually. I, they're just, I guess, good units or something. Right. I have the bonus for chariots. That's my bonuses. Right. So I guess time to keep exploring. Uh, oh, I can make a stone thrower. Make a couple of those actually to deal with the buildings. There we go. Why are you going straight for the hero? Not the elephant. You guys playing the objective? Okay, so what's up this path? Did we get you? 10 range. Hopefully that can deal with the tower. And just take out houses, I guess, while we wait for it to come up. And elephants plus a stone thrower should be pretty good. The problem is if we do run into any priests, I guess we'll have to switch into chariots. Ten to five. Oh, I can actually just kill that with the elephant archers then. It's only five range. Should check that earlier. Well, let's keep exploring up here. I can see more guys on the hill. There's another tower there. At least that thing will have a nice line of sight for us to explore with. Send the elephants in first. Stay on the hill. See what's over there. Kill that tower too. Don't want the catapult taking any unnecessary risks like that army there. But you can go up and help to win that fight there. And it's, it's nice, we'll keep getting slightly more and more wood. Alright, so market can actually do the plow research now. Let's make sure you're in the back. And let's continue cleaning up this. Uh, these buildings on the cliffs. Still five range, still five range. The 
control group set. Just watch a nice. It's gonna watch a nice destruction animation back that comes in. Let's watch the tower be destroyed. Ah, oh, there we go. Little villager, there you go. Next update, supposedly. This game's actually getting an update. Well, you queue farms at the granary, and that will be so nice. Hopefully, the villagers actually build the farms if you queue them. And we don't just have another one of those non building situations like that other game. Those guys only have six range, too. Kill the barracks. Uh, oh, purple. It's more Egyptian army to kill. Oh, well, you could have completely died to that cavalry unit, but you didn't. Let's just keep moving up with elephants. They do, like, no damage to the elephants. Oh, what's that? Villagers. Okay, so I guess that doesn't really lead anywhere, so we've just cleaned up this area. Let's keep building more forward storage pits. And what is over here? It's a... It's a burning house, not a burning bush. I'm just so interested to see what the burning bush is going to be, graphically. That's the edge of the map there. Build that tower. Oh, that's a friendly tower. Oh, there's the burning bush. Alright. It's a damaged farm. Okay, I guess that means burning bush and the temple, and we need to research... So we can research both monotheism and polytheism. Okay. So I guess we're just going to want to do all of those upgrades. Destroy barracks, capture temple, and one, two, three, four, five pharaohs we have to capture. All right. So let's read these instructions for a return to Egypt in part three. This chapter begins when Moses reaches the burning bush and the temple. The Lord God spoke to Moses through a burning bush and instructed him to return to the land of Egypt to free God's people from bondage. Moses knew that the Pharaoh's heart was hard, but with the help of his brother Aaron, Moses knew he could defeat the Pharaoh's magicians and show the true power of God. Objectives. Research monotheism. Requires the Iron Age. Train Aaron, a priest. Convert the Egyptian army temple and destroy the Egyptian army barracks in the Hebrew camp and convert all five Egyptian magi pharaohs to show God's power. Okay, so this is telling me I'm probably going to need some chariots to do some debating while converting. Do I get scythe chariots even? That would be pretty cool if I did. Let's build this table up here, just try to figure that out. And no reason not to do that, I have the resources. Um, Market, that's what I wanted. More f more food on the farms. Should have done that a while ago. Uh, upgrade to tower. Okay, so we've researched that. And we'll have to train Aaron. Hopefully we can train multiple Aarons. Can I? Alright, good, I can train multiple Aarons. I'll just train one to do some good old healing. You can use him to heal the catapults and stuff. And okay, I get noble chariots. Oh, I don't have the uh, thing, the the government center to upgrade them, even if I could do better. Alright, so let's just do all the upgrades. 
Where did you guys come from? Alright, send in the elephants. Okay, now we're done with them. Okay, we will use stand ground on these catapults for now. Okay, now that that brown guy is cleaned up, we will push forward with our elephants and we'll have a few priests. Yes, one of you is this guy's brother and he will be rewarded by being deleted. Hopefully we can find some more gold somewhere because I would like to get both more priests, the faster faith, or actually I could just do faster faith right now, and I'll still have gold to train another priest should I need one. Yep. Um, I think that means add in more stables, and also that it is time for us to probably delete a couple of villagers. Guys, why are you down there? There we go. Agra, the guy we wanted to kill. Okay, now please just go into the elephants. Oh, look at him going straight for the hero. Yeah, so chariots resist conversion. So we're going to want a few chariots so that we can resist being converted. Let me just see if we can convert the priest. Yes, we can. Perfect. He's just an old priest, not a pharaoh, so hopefully hopefully he doesn't have to survive. Uh, we'll capture temple, not kill temple. No attack. Don't, don't you be killing the priests. Okay. Okay, destroy barracks. Capture temple. Those are the goals. Let's get the wall down. Hopefully our ally doesn't mind us killing his houses. <laughs> Oops. Now we go to capture the temple. Add in another priest if we can too. Capture the temple and destroy the barracks. The elephants in position to kill those swordsmen if they don't like us converting the temple. Alright, capture temple. Destroy barracks. And kill swordsmen. And chariots. I think these elephants can handle this by themselves. They have so much HP. It's good. 600. And then we'll heal them up with the priests once we're done here. punch a hole in that side of the wall instead of walking through. And we can just bring the priests over here. Oh yes, now we got two temples that we can use to double produce priests. And you guys will be the debate force for when we need you, and we'll just heal up everything over here. And by everything I mean one elephant. We can path him to the priests. New idea, you guys just punch a hole in the wall. Okay, so I've destroyed all of those walls. Pathfinding should hopefully now work, and since the priests have such big line of sight, we'll use them to do our scouting. So nothing down here? Uh, nope, nothing really down there. But we will have these green walls again. Now we need to convert five pharaohs. So I see there are a couple chariots, so we won't want to engage there with our priests yet. But instead, we want to... Or... Rip. Alright, go, don't lose the priests. Use the elephants. Okay, there we are. Elephants. Oh, 
pathfinding still not working? We can just train as, train as many of these chariots as we like. Not really at a... Oh, I still have another archer. Thank you, I'm up here. We're not really at a... at a shortage of food or wood. Okay, good, as long as you don't destroy the pharaohs, we'll be good. I have an idle villager, what are you doing? Uh, you can come help build us some stables up here. That would be nice. And before we enter the city, let's just save one more time. And we want to try to take out these chariots before we move in with the priests and chariots of our own. Sounds like a good plan to me. Just gotta be really careful with these elephants that we don't lose them. Alright, so I think we will... I don't even need to use the hero now, just use chariots to do some jabating and priests to do some converting. So... so what's the range on that guy? Oh, only six range? Okay, we got that easy. Okay, we got one of you. And now we just wait for the priests to regain their faith. I can't do a group conversion. And then go for the next one. Pilare? Okay, uh, I guess I don't need you guys now. Goodbye. Another idol, you can die too. And, oh, that came back actually quite quickly. Just see if we can use them to do a little bit of exploring. Aha, so they do have... They do have more chariots, so we'll try to take them out with our own chariots. You can convert too, but I don't want to risk that. So we'll see, we'll take out these chariots and then try to do a quick delete on our forces. Alright. So that's the plan, we'll, go, we'll snipe like one thing at a time and then we'll do a good delete. And that way they don't get converted. We can just slowly take out the purple guys, and once the purple guys are gone, we'll take the cyan guys. So we'll wait for these guys to train now. And I think we'll head straight for that archer in the back. And I'll just take like two of you to get that guy. Oh, there's a couple archers there. Do not kill them. Die, yes. Okay. Now we'll just go and snag one of them again. And I keep building farms. You guys are grouped group too, come on, there you go. Oh, don't get converted back, please. <laughs> Shouldn't have lost all the faith at once. Oh, okay. <laughs> Those priests really did not want to get converted back. Okay, we've gotten three of the pharaohs so far, that's great. And now we're just going to need to find the rest of the pharaohs. You guys are really getting through that wood pretty quickly. Build another storage pit up here. And we'll just do a tiny bit of scouting with these guys now. See where the other ones are. One there, and I saw earlier there was one down there. Unless that guy walked up here. But, okay, so there's one there. And we'll just scout out the last guy's location. The Egyptian army is not yet defeated, so... Hopefully they will be after killing these guys. I think we should do that. We I don't think I did the last upgrades, but that doesn't really matter too much since we can just spam these guys as long as we want. Alright, there is the last one there. I want to get that guy. And I can tell you're converting there. And hopefully you win one on one. We'll convert you. Oh wow, you guys have like infinite range. And one more, once this faith comes back. 
which it is doing incredibly quickly. 16 range on priests? Like, what? That is insane. And 100 already. And there we go. Alright. GG. And I guess Moses Zufu, he is still alive because we did not lose. Alright, military. Look at that. 108 to only 41 losses. And I guess those losses are just me deleting stuff. I don't think I really lost units. Uh, let's see, two temples that we first got a guy one, then converted most to. Ooh, the Magi still had more technologies than I did, so I didn't have gold to research them. Let's read the conclusion. God visited plagues upon the Egyptians, breaking the Pharaoh's hard heart. Take all you have and be gone, he cried to Moses and Aaron. The multitude of Hebrews, now freed from bondage, gathered in Goshen and rose in a jubilant procession from the land of Egypt. The Pharaoh's heart became hard again, however, and he sent his army to pursue the Hebrews. With God's help, Moses divided the sea, allowing his people to escape from the Pharaoh's army and enter the Sinai. Uh, Moses, the once prince of Egypt, had restored to his people their faith and their freedom. Uh, no, I don't want to rate. Alright, so that was, once more, another custom campaign, Moses, Prince of Egypt. I will put the of course, download link for that in the description if you want to play that. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later.